Alrighty then. So, hi. Um, I'm in my jammies, but I wanted to check in because I know it's been, <coughs> what, 10 days to two weeks since I made my last video. And I, I just want to check in because um, it's not you, it's me. It's really not you, it's all me. Uh, I, my, I have an illness called RSD CRPS and we're having, we're constantly having storms. Today happens to be sunny, but I can feel another rainstorm coming in because it's the rainy season and they're, they're really affecting my RSD. RSD affects the entire nervous system. And with some people, RSD CRPS can just affect where their injuries are, like my elbows and my arms, which have been swollen and it's hard to hold a paintbrush. But I also get a leg that's injured that keeps um, inflating, in, absolutely inflating, and then my feet too. So there's my big excuse, is that I have little seizures and uh, I blow up like the Michelin man and it's very hard to function. Yesterday I was having seizures all day and it's weird. You can feel yourself sinking into this illness and I fight it all the time. I fight to just keep working. I paint, when I'm painting I can usually remove myself, but when you can't walk or hold a paintbrush it's a little hard. Anyway, I wanted to check in and kind of review um, and I'm sorry, I look awful and I know it, it's okay. It's just the way it is. This is being real. This is the realness of Studio 120. Oh, by the way, I'm Beck Lane and this is Studio 120. So I wanted, wanted to check in and show you what I've been working on uh, off camera. I really needed quiet time too to be able to focus. So I'm gonna review some of the 14 paintings I have going on. I have 14 paintings for three different orders that I'm working on, and we're going to start with her. I, <coughs> This Little Mermaid, I, I declared her done uh, about 10 days ago, I think, um, maybe right around my last video, but she's really been bothering me. And I, uh, by the way, if you haven't seen my videos before, I love talking about how I failed and then tried to figure it out. I pulled up the reference material. There were so many things that bothered me about her. Her delightful cutesiness was overly charming, but I'll show you something that made it extra cutesy and I couldn't figure out what I missed. I missed the shadow. I pulled up the reference material, as I said, and there's a shadow behind her. There should be a little bit of a shadow on her face, but I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because it still works. But her, I had her back shadowed and her arms shadowed, but I didn't have shadow below her. I also just kind of copped out on the, um, on the water and didn't really bring out the sand well or the waves. So now I've made the sand a little bit richer, the water a little bit richer, and you probably can't see it, but I turned, the waves were um, very horizontal. And what we want is to make sure that the that the waves and the paintbrushes are kind of framing her. They're actually framing her bottom just a little bit and her back, but we want to make sure that everything is framing her. And with it all being horizontal, it just it felt kind of flat. Also, you know, without the uh, without the shadow that she has in the photograph. Uh, it does, you know, make it super flat and super silly, and it was dumb, but I did it. And I also took, I turned around and just, well, I always talk about looking at the reference material and really paying attention to it, and there we are. Um, I missed it. But I also took her lip. I had a, like this really big lip down here with kind of a pinkish, like a raspberry uh, lipstick. I removed that. I turned her uh, mouth more this way because in the reference material, her mouth was not tilted at an angle with a big raspberry lip. I was making it up and it wasn't working for me. So I turned, took, her, took her mouth and made it a little bit more correct. Also her eyes. And what I had done, and this is, okay, you're gonna have to excuse me. My brain, my brain is having a hard time because of, of the RSD CRPS with the weather we've been having. So if I kind of get lost, 
I always get lost. There's that way. Well, never mind. I always get lost. Anyway, um, where was I? I'm gonna get more lost than usual. Um, I oh, I always talk. About, I can't remember. Anyway, um, oh, I know what it was. Okay, so I always talk about taking a painting, turning it towards the wall, so you can free, see it with fresh eyes. And I've done it off and on for whatever I've been working on, 14 paintings for about a month. Um, I took her, put her in another room. I mean, I put her totally out of view. And while I'm working on other things, I would go and check on her and go, nope, don't like her. Uh, pulled her out a couple times, couldn't figure it out, but it happened yesterday. All of a sudden, I pulled up the reference material, see, saw her with fresh eyes, and was able to reconfigure. So yay. We're going to call this little guy, this little lady, done. Reshaping her mouth and reshaping her eyes and finding that shadow was the key. So this is for, um, this is for the same client. Um, I, have, I have several paintings going for this client. They need them for a very specific reason and uh, I know the colors they need. I understand what their what their clients want. Um, I understand the colors. I said the colors they need, but the colors that will work in the um, for the situation they're going into. I can't be specific other than to be say colors a bunch of times. This is very bright. I do bright. This is very bright. Um, it's not me. But I, as I said, I do know what their customers want. So that's, that's what I'm working on, uh, what I've heard their customers ask for and talk about. So I was not going to make a vase because I don't like being obvious, but I felt we really needed to. We needed dark. So what I'm going in, I'm still working on this one because the paint was fighting me. So I'm letting it, okay, let me move over here. I let it dry, once again turned it, put it against the wall, and now I can see where I can tone it down in a couple places, so it's not quite so, ah, but it will still have that bright effect, that bright, cheery, colorful effect. Because what I want, what I want for my client, and then again for their customers, or, or for everything that I'm doing for them, to ride, ride this line of um, cheerful and bright, but not overly so. So we've got to tone it down just a bit. Um, the customer needs browns. Browns mixed with oranges, so it will work with other items that they're selling, as well as teals and blues. This has a little bit of everything that my client has in their um, in their stores. And so I've, I'm just reworking it because I know what they have. I know what their customers have asked for. The hardest thing in this one is the yellows. The yellows are too much, and um, I know that their clients don't ask for a lot with yellows. So I'm going to tone them down a bit, not erase them, but instead of this bright Indian, uh, Indian yellow mixed with white, I'm going to be putting in um, more of an ochre, just covering them with an ochre, just to kind of tone it down a little bit. So everything isn't like, bah, in the face. There are other issues I have to take on. I, in all my paintings, I've got to go through them once I'm done done and remove little pinky marks that are everywhere. Because I paint with my pinky pressed up against the canvas. So this is an abstract, one of several abstracts I've been working on. Um, I started this a couple weeks ago. Um, adding oranges now, light oranges in different places so we don't overwhelm. I'm going to be toning down some of the teal and turning it more of a teal than, a, than that mint green that it is because that won't work with my customer. So we're going to be, um, play, I'm playing with colors. This is actually easy. I know it's very confusing, but this is something that's pretty easy for me to blow through. Once I've got it laid out and I've got the first layer of oils down, it's pretty easy for me to blow through. And what I'm doing, uh, they're abstract florals. This has a lot of ginkgo leaves in them. And what I want to provide for my customer is a way for them to present to their own customers 
something that is abstract and can be hung any way that will work for the customer and they can also be paired like instead of um, this is a product development thing by the way uh, <laughs> if you didn't catch on this can be taken something like this if the customer wants they can take it they can buy one and hang it any way they want oh great here comes my one guy um, they can All right, or somebody's long guy. Anyway, they can buy one, or they can buy two. Okay, they can buy one, or they can buy two, and they can, one can be hung, let's say, this way, buy a second one, turn it, and you've got a painting that has a slightly different feel, but it will also pair. So, and it also provides the opportunity for customer to have a new painting every few months. They can just take it and turn it and turn it. All right, it's somebody's lawn guy. Let's keep going. There's another abstract I was working, trying to work on yesterday. There's another abstract I was trying to work on yesterday, abstract floral. Today I'm going in and I'm adding teals and I'm not lightening up these browns. I was trying to add orange, but it wasn't working. I have to tone some of these uh, brighter colors or darker colors down and make them a little bit more muted going in around. I think it's Brian again, I'm not sure. My neighbor Brian, he's obsessed with his lawn. Yep, it's Brian, it's not my lawn guy. Anyway, um, this will be in different shades of blue. These are gonna be, those sleeves are gonna be like a gray blue. Uh, I'm just gonna, oh God. I, and I'm too sick to even bother trying to do another video. We're, we're gonna get through this, anyway. Uh, I'm going to tone down some things, bring out some things, because we don't want this to be like, boom, there's a painting in your room. We want this to, to kind of meld into the background a little bit and accent the uh, other items that are being purchased from my customer. So, my client, rather. And again, this, in the end, this will be another abstract that their customers can take and turn and turn and turn. So they can have a fresh new painting to look at whenever they want. Just take it and turn it and you've got something brand new. Maybe it brings out other things in, that, in their client, customers' houses. Other, you know, never mind. Oh my God. Um, we're gonna head over to, mermaids. Um, I have more abstracts that I'm working on. And like I said, those are pretty easy for me to blow through. Those are pretty easy to get through. Let me see. We can put this so you can, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. Brian is obsessed with this lawn. Unfortunately, we, we have lawn guys going through all day, almost every day. Anyway, as you can see, these girls, <laughs> this, these three figures were originally girls on the beach, like, Lee, you know, with their feet up. I decided to turn them into mermaids because that's what my client really wanted from me were mermaids. So they've got mermaid tails. Um, I had a really hard time with their faces, but once I got the tails in place, and started muting some of the colors in here with transparent earth red and uh, like a transparent earth red mixed with teal it all started to work I also put detail in their tails and then the background too and I learned a lot doing the background and I'll talk about that in another video because Brian's just gonna keep mowing his lawn um, 
but I learned a lot in this that I was able to transfer to other paintings. So let's move on. This still has a little bit of a ways to go. There's several things missing, so I'm keeping it out. I'm, oh, one of the things is detail in the fringe. I actually started working on that two days ago after I did the C and stuff. Mermaid number two, three. This is mermaid three, sorry. Um, this is something I started, let's see. I actually did this on camera. I laid it out on, on I believe, on video. And this is where we are with this particular mermaid. I loved painting this umbrella. I love painting the umbrellas. It's so much fun for me. So we've got the umbrella in. I started putting in the water. But this is obnoxious, her tail. So what I'm going to do is what I did with the other mermaids. This is going to be muted. In the reference material, this is very bright. But we've got to mute this down a little bit. It's just too much. And no one is really looking for lime green to put in their homes. So this is going to get hit with transparent earth red again. Just kind of tone it down. Because this is the focal point instead of this. This conveys almost an Art Deco feel. Um, and this conveys, hi, look at me. So we're going to tone that down just a tad. Mermaid number four. And there we are. She's, she's not done either. Her tail has to be worked on, but that's going to be pretty easy. Because what I'm doing is, <laughs> is going, taking what I've learned in the last painting and transferring it to the next painting. Uh, that happened in the umbrella, although I have to do some highlights. That, ha that is happening in the sand and is happening in the water. What I'm doing is I'll work on the, all the mermaids one day so I can take what I've learned from one mermaid and transfer it to another painting. And the same thing with the abstract uh, flowers. What I've learned in this painting, okay, let's quickly go over to the, the other florals and transfer that information. So this is what's going on. Um, her face has to be a little, I'm rethinking her face because it's going to be lightened up and brightened. Right now she kind of looks like a meth addict, so we've got to knock the meth out of her. Like I said, I'm working on, going to work on her tail and highlight some of the umbrella, then go through with the sky, and then kind of hit the sand up the way I did the water. What I, oh, I wanted to share with you what I learned while painting water. The waves aren't, aren't lines. They're not just lines. What I'm doing is I'm drawing with the, uh, I'm drawing just ovals, just ovals in dark, and then going over them with lighter colors. And that's how it became so fluid in, um, in the last two paintings. And then I took that information, the oval information, transferred it back to the cute mermaid. Here comes Brian. Okay, so. Those are some of the ones I'm working on for a client. I have, I have a couple more abstracts, but we're not gonna bother with that right now. I'm gonna go back to two paintings I've been working on for another client for about a year. This is Christy, Christy, Christy and Bobby. Christy and Bobby, I've been talking about right outside the window. Um, Christy and Bobby, the water that I had applied to the canvas, it was aqua. I took that out, I put in blues. I know it looks very red, white, and blue, but again, circular motion with the brush in different layers, different colors of blue. Completely changed it. They really, really pop. The blues work with her scarf now, so that pops. Transferred the blues to her face, pop to her hair, pop. Let me get Bobby. And there's Bobby. It's right 
outside the window. So this is Bobby. Let's see. Hopefully we don't have glare. Once again, uh, repainted the water from really aqua teal to blue. So it is water. It is blood surrounding around him. Really got it to flow. Reconfigured his head, his the top of his head, his eyes, his mouth. And I also added greens. There are greens in there, so he really, really pops. So we're going to stop because that's not going to. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. Some of the things I've been working on for the past couple weeks off camera. Um, I will do a live, live feed and hopefully no one will be mowing any lawns when we do it. And I'll be feeling a little bit better. I'm actually better than I have uh, today than I was yesterday. Yesterday was really, really, really bad. So this is where we are. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 14 or 15 paintings I've been working on off camera since uh, the last video. Anyway, let's say ciao. Let's wish Brian well. Okay, let's wish Brian well. I'm gonna stop stop this now. I'll do a live uh, another live painting feed in a little bit, and we'll tackle the abstract uh, florals or something. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Ciao.